Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm Rory McLennan coming to you from Glasgow, Scotland. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. The Islamic State carried out a targeted attack in the northern part of the Iraqi capital, Baghdad, on Tuesday, killing at least 11 civilians, including one woman and wounding six others. This was confirmed by the Iraqi Joint Operations Command. According to officials, terrorists attacked the predominantly Shiite village of al-Rashad, northeast of Bakuba in Diyala province. Police have confirmed that the Islamic State terrorists used several vehicles and semi-automatic guns to carry out the attack. However, the reason for the attack is unknown. The Associated Press reported that the Islamic State militants had kidnapped two villagers and when the ransom was not paid, they carried out the attack in retaliation. The attack comes after IS militants killed three people, including two Iraqi army officers, in the provinces of Diyala and Salahuddin last month. Since the defeat of the Islamic State in 2017, terrorist attacks in Iraq have been less common. Cardinal Silvano Tomasi, the special delegate to the Order of Malta, has been granted special powers by Pope Francis, including the authority to approve the Constitutional Charter and the Militants Code, that is the fundamental laws of the Order, and undertake the renewal of the Sovereign Council in conformity with new formative texts. The new powers were specified in a letter issued by the Pope on October the 25th. Until the extraordinary general chapter concludes, Marco Luzzago has been allowed to continue as Lieutenant of the Grand Master of the Sovereign Order of Malta. The papal letter mentions that Cardinal Tomasi will have all the powers to take upon himself the governance of the Order and resolve all internal conflicts with the authority granted by the Pontiff. A neurologist hailing from New York has been honoured with this year's Catholic Doctor of the Year Award for his outstanding service during the outbreak of the COVID pandemic in the city last year. The award was given to Major Daniel E. O'Connell on October the 24th during the Archdiocese of Los Angeles Annual Mass for Catholic Healthcare Professionals. Dr. O'Connell deals with neuro-oncology and pain management and was nominated by the Young Catholic Professionals of Orange County. He's also a medical officer in the United States Air Force Reserves, and he was called to help during the COVID outbreak in New York City in 2020. The Mass for Catholic Healthcare Professionals in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles is an annual event, imploring God's blessings on doctors and other health workers. As the Chinese Communist authorities continue to oppress Christians, a Catholic bishop loyal to Rome has been arrested. Bishop of Wenzhou, Zhao Zhumin, was recently taken into custody. The official explanation given by the authorities mentions that the bishop has taken a sabbatical. The bishop, who is not recognised by the government, was arrested before and subjected to brainwashing sessions to force him to be a part of the patriotic church that is recognised by the Chinese Communist Party. The authorities also prevent believers in Wenzhou from praying at the tomb of its first bishop, James Lin Ji Li, who was ordained by Pope St John Paul II in 1992. He was arrested by the authorities seven years later and remained in their custody until he died in 2009. It was customary for Catholics to gather at his grave in the month of November that is dedicated to the dead. The US International Religious Freedom Ambassador Choice of President Joe Biden has vowed to tackle rising Christian persecution, anti-Semitism and Islamophobia around the world. Rashad Hussein, the ambassador at large nominee for international religious freedom, pointed out the plight of the patriarch of the Eritrean Orthodox Church, who is unable to meet his flock, as well as the incidents of Christian persecution in Vietnam. While addressing members of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Hussein, who is of Indian origin, said he would hold China accountable for the gross rights violations in Muslim-majority Xinjiang, where Uyghurs are sent to labour camps. He also mentioned the flogging and jailing of Saudi blogger Raif Badawi for encouraging debate online. If he is confirmed, Hussein will be the first Muslim and first Indian American to hold that position. Ancient manuscripts and religious texts that were saved from destruction during the conquest of the Islamic State in Iraq will now be housed in a new museum in the city of Erbil. The manuscripts, most of which belong to the Oriental churches, will now be kept in a museum located in Ankawa, a predominantly Christian suburb of Erbil. The museum is an initiative of Chaldean Catholic Patriarch Cardinal Louis Raphael Sacco. 
It and a study centre will be taken care of by members of the Dominican Order. Acclaimed scholars and experts on ancient texts will be part of the initiative. The manuscripts, preserved by Chaldean Archbishop of Mosul, Najib Mikhail Musa, at the time of the Islamic State invasion, will be preserved in the new museum. The prelate had to flee to the Nineveh Plains initially, and later to Erbil in Iraqi Kurdistan. He took along with him almost 800 manuscripts, with many of them dating back to the 13th century. These ancient manuscripts in Aramaic, Arabic and the Armenian languages are said to be the most cherished cultural heritage of the region. Bishop Thomas Paproki of the Diocese of Springfield in the United States has urged lawmakers not to repeal the Paternal Notification of Abortion Act. On Tuesday, the Illinois Senate voted to abolish a decades-old law that requires parental notification when a girl who is below the age of 17 seeks an abortion. During a press conference, Bishop Aproki said the law is a hindrance to abortion, adding that it is a matter of parental rights. The Paternal Notice of Abortion Act requires that an abortion provider in Illinois seeking to perform an abortion for a minor must give at least 48 hours prior notice to an adult family member of the young mother. The current law, which was passed in 1995, came into effect in 2013. In what is seen as a bold proclamation of the sanctity of life, more than 100 doctors in Mexico renewed the Hippocratic Oath on October the 23rd before the Statue of Our Lady in the Basilica of San Juan de los Lagos in Jalisco State. The doctors took the Catholic version of the oath in the presence of Bishop Jorge Alberto Cavazos Arizpe and promised to save lives and not to induce abortion to any woman. They signed the pledge and placed it at the feet of the Virgin. The doctors were inspired to take the oath as life has been attacked in various ways in Mexico. Recently, the Mexican Supreme Court of Justice of the nation had ruled that criminalising abortion was unconstitutional. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us again tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.